Ha! Kelly J here again with something odd but exciting. Now that we have a roaring fire that we started with using our magnesium starter, we are going to be cooking scarpsterkies or as the English would say, sheep tails. Yes, you did hear me correct. Sheep tails. So, let's go. Ingredients. Here we have one and a half onion, two tomato, quarter lemon, two clove garlic, three chili. We don't like the ring sting in the morning, but we love our chilies. Over here we have olive oil, we have pepper and pink salt. We have mixed herbs, vegetable stock powder, we have marmite or you can use bovril and we have a shot of whiskey. You can put two shots of whiskey, one for you and one for the pot. Okay Liffy, come and begin. First we add a biki olive oil. Biki, a little bit, okay? Not to feel, not too much. Then we are going to add our small onions that are chopped up on the side. Ooh, listen to that. That's how you know it's a like a roaring fire with. With a little small one. That's it. the big one and yeah we're going to let them go a little while just until they go a bit brown or glossy the chunky onions over there we will be using for our gravy so we don't want them too small but they need to cook a bit okay so now that our onions are nice and brown we are going to throw in our chili we will stir it just a little bit then we are going to throw in our lamb tails or sheep tails I did rinse them off so there is no more blood. Oof, laced They look just beautiful. We are going to brown the sheep tail. See, they're becoming nice and brown. See that? Very nice. Okay, next we'll throw in a bit of lemon. That over there will loosen up all the burn at the bottom of the pot. We will throw in our tomatoes. Now we're starting to see a little bit of color. Okay. Next is our garlic cloves. This is starting to smell delicious. Okay, a bit of soap or salt 
pink soap, a little bit of paper. It is looking magnificent. A little bit of mixed herbs. We don't want all three. Then I have three mixed the vegetable stock and the marmite with some hot boiling water. It is two tablespoons vegetable stock powder and one teaspoon of marmite. That looks beautiful. Now for our store ingredient. I do not have one for myself, but in goes the whiskey. Look at that. We are going to put a little bit more water in just to cover the lamb tails because they are going to be cooking for five hours. We are going to put a lid on top. We are going to take some coals, put it at the top, like such. And then we are going to leave it for five hours. You can have a peep at it and stir it every now and again so it does not burn. But I will be seeing you later. It is now later and as you can see it is about to rain. Which makes this the perfect meal. Should we have a look? Now we are going to check if the meat is nice and soft using this knife. Oh, as you can see the meat is falling off the bone which makes it perfect. We will then remove the scarp starkies from the pot. now boil down to make a nice rich gravy which we will serve on top of rice. You can make rice, pap or bread. I'm going to make another video with bread on the coals so keep your eyes peeled for that video. Once you have got a nice thick gravy you can remove the pot and set it aside. Then we will clean the grid with the onion. Because that's how we do it in South Africa. We also check the temperature using our hand. That seems good. What we want to do now is put the scarp starkies back on the coals. Because we want to give it a nice char grill taste. So just one minute, not even. Because they already cooked, remember? Once 
once we have char grilled them nicely, we can take them off and serve to everyone to enjoy. From my side, I'd like to say, keep those nostrils dusty. Cheers!